my friends. Good to see you again. I'm glad that you could join me. I hope you're all doing well. I'm Jiggity George, and I got a, another good episode this week. Um, so well, a couple of things. I've uh, The video I uploaded last week, it, uh, it hit almost uh, 450 views. And then there was a video from about eight months ago where I was talking about insulating with air creep. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's almost got up to uh, a thousand now. So uh, that's really fantastic. That's exploded. And I'm really glad to see that there's so much interest out there. Um, there's a few things that I've uh, figured out. I, I, I made a little intro, which I uh, hope you all enjoy. And uh, also I'm uh, trying to look more directly at the camera and... Uh, I, I uh, have bifocals, so I tend to have my head tilted up, but um, I'm actually making the effort to look directly at the camera there. So um, anyway, um, yeah, so I got a, I ran a few, I ran the sample, and uh, I'll take you through the video, and you can see the kind of the steps that I took, and then uh, I'll catch up with you at the end there. So I've just made a frame, uh, one by six, uh, four feet by four feet. And I will see if I can pour that half full, and then I'm going to put uh, the wire uh, uh, grid in. All right. So I've mixed up my slurry, and now the first one I'm going to do is make a half a bucket of foam. All right, well, that gives me a couple of inches. Um, I'm going to let that set up overnight to put the grate in tomorrow and then finish pouring the top tomorrow. So I've gone ahead and added a grid. 
this should uh, turn out four by four so it's about a half a sheet I'll pour the other layer over top and see what that looks like well there we go there's a finished surface now it actually it actually looks like real concrete I don't know whether a person could travel that flat or not but uh, uh, I just leveled it off with a with a long board but anyway it sure looks interesting well, it's been a couple days since I uh, poured the air, the uh, styro aircrete, and uh, I can stand on it, no problem at all. There's no flexing whatsoever. Now I didn't have quite enough uh, product, and uh, the circumstance last couple of days didn't allow me to catch up on it either. So I will probably uh, cut this, but it gives me a nice little sample, and you can see the grid that I've got in there. Yeah, so I'm uh, I'm definitely really pleased with this. It's uh, it's solid after just a couple of days. So I'm going to take the uh, the frame off and uh, tip it up and see what it looks like. Yeah, so this is the bottom side. It's still a little bit soft, but that's probably because it was uh, up against the uh, on the tarp. So for the bottom part, I used about a third of a bag, and um, whereas at the top. Um, mixture I used a, a full bag on on 50 gallons so I got about 75 gallons in here so uh, the first 25 gallons it was a little bit lighter um, but uh, yeah I got some really good results now this is the way it finished at the, at the outside after I smooth it off uh, I'm sure that could be polished but I kind of like the texture on that actually I think that's kind of cool it's got a nice sharp edge so that nice sharp corner there that came out nice and uh yeah so we'll leave it for another couple days and then uh we'll see what it does so uh, a couple of things that i found was that um the first batch uh i um i ended up using less portland cement but also the batch was uh, quite dry and i end up adding uh, extra foam and extra uh, water now in the other two batches, I used the uh, uh, half a bag and then I had uh, a good wet slurry. And I actually end up using a, a three quarter bucket full of foam. Uh, and then uh, once the slurry was added and, uh, and it was amazing how much styrofoam was able to get absorbed into that uh, air creed. It just kept adding. Um, so, uh, but uh, it was a little bit more liquidy than, um, than what I had seen on the other videos, but I liked it because it flowed very well and it still didn't uh, leak which was a very good thing it was just a, a frame on the on the tarp and um uh, when i poured it in there there was uh, no it was just maybe a bit of moisture but it certainly didn't pour out like uh, you would have had with uh, regular aircrete um so uh, yeah and of course these were all uh, rough styrofoam or i should say the uh, the pink and the blue in there i don't know if that has an impact but i i certainly uh, like the texture that i saw at the end there Anyway, uh, yeah, so I think I'll, uh, I'll see you here next week. I'm going to cut it, and then we can take a look at it that way, and I can probably do some tests with stiffness. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we've got a mass of uh, uh, rain coming this uh, next week, um, so it's going to be uh, somewhat difficult uh, to, uh, to work with it other than inside. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, now I can certainly see the, uh, the potential here for, uh, making panels, maybe, uh, two feet wide and six feet high and, uh, setting them next to each other. You could probably glue them together with, uh, with the spray foam or, uh, also I've been thinking that I might be able to incorporate some sort of a, a tube, uh, like a pipe on, and, uh, receptor on one side and a pipe in the, or maybe two receptors and you stick a pipe in between something plastic, uh, before you, uh, foam them together that would certainly uh, give it more increased uh, stiffness um and also uh, i've got that um that um uh coating that we put on the rvs the um it's liquid silicone and uh so also i want to try uh, an area there and actually see if i can uh, uh brush on or maybe spray on uh, a, a layer or several layers of of uh of that stuff and uh, kind of see what kind of results that we uh, what, what it'll look like it would certainly make it waterproof um, and uh, yeah the texture I think is kind of interesting too so uh, yeah anyway I really enjoy making these videos and I'm really glad to see so many views and uh, I really hope that um, 
uh, you know, that the community uh, comes together and uh, more innovation uh, with Air Creep because I can see, I can certainly see how easy it would be to uh, actually, if you had some kind of a mold and probably even uh, you could make a sand mold if you had an object uh, that you could uh, make a sand mold with and then, uh, and then pour this stuff into it, let it harden, pull it out of the mold and you'd have like really lightweight replica of whatever it is you were making. And uh, I could see possibilities of uh, making uh, like a fountain wall, like a rock wall where you got water coming down. Uh, you could maybe make it in in, um, in uh, four or five pieces and you, and you set it together and then you just coat it and yeah, who knows what you could do with it. So, uh, uh, but certainly I want to be looking at building bunkies with it and uh, so that uh, I wouldn't require any other structure but just this and uh, be able to... Um, uh, you know, either inside or outside, put the um, the uh, fiberglass netting on and then a layer of stucco. And um, yeah, wow, I can really see some uh, some exciting potential with that. So anyway, stay tuned. Uh, like I said, I enjoy making the videos and I really enjoy that uh, there's been so many views. And uh, if you like the video and share it, it, it certainly helps with the algorithm, uh, algorithms and, uh, and you'll get more views uh, still. So uh, uh, wonderful. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Jiggity George and I'll talk to you next week.